Hey guys, Psyche Pictures here, and welcome back to more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Line. Um, so I was looking at the menu of this, and we have a new menu option. Magical Miracle Girl Monomi. So, I have no idea what this is, because, again, this Let's Play is blind. But it says at the bottom, experience the battles between Monomi and the Mono Beasts that occurred behind the scenes. I'm not particularly interested in that. I'm just part. I'm interested in the main story. So let's continue from where I left off, at the end of chapter one. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything, even if we weren't told this directly. You'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all worthless trash. Huh? There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. What the heck? No Not matter yourself. how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky, which means... Unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Ah, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits... Oh, shut up! Chapter 2. Sea and Punishment, Sin and Coconuts. Daily Life. Byakuya and Teru Teru died la just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still got hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen, fo with dreary, sullen footsteps. Wow, lots of people here. Oh. Ah, uh, Hajime, you here? You're already here. Good morning. Uh. Yo. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. 
After experiencing something like that, it's impossible to not to feel sad. Huh? Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you got... You just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. That's like what happened. Byakuya and Teru Teru got killed. I'll go. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Ah. Ah, why are you being so mean to me? But... Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it all right to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No, that was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could've, I would've totally spat on him, too. Hmm. Hmm? Jeez! Hey, what gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... Smells. Something smells, don't you think? Huh? A again? It can't be! Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Nah, it's not like the smell of blood. This time, it just smells really bad. S smells bad? Um... It's kind of like a bar or nightclub smells after a closing time, you see? Hey, hey, hey! I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty l rough life. Now that you mention it... Now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotting garbage. I got it! Yeah, I know what it is. Nakamaru's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Mm. No, it's not Nekamaru. The smell is coming from you, Hyoko. Mm -hmm. Huh? Whoa. Whoa, it's true. Real Hyoko, you reek. What did you do to me? <laughs> a rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> Oh, she's crying! Hey! I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was close. Uh, no. It actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> like... Are you even taking baths? <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. You, you haven't bathed? That's my reaction. I'm like, what the heck? She's been on this island how long and she hasn't bathed? I I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Hey. Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie a sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> I can only tie a, a simple knot, but if that's... Okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! Yay! I love you, Miharu. I'll give you a kiss. Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. The air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um, anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nakito? It seems they're both not here. Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just... Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nakito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. 
Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, I don't know anything. I have no idea! Without hesitation, I, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. Right. He's right, forget him. Let's just forget about that creep any already. Huh? They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I I'm not suspicious! Impossible! <laughs> That's right, I I'm not suspicious. What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time! Mm -hmm. Huh? At the right time? Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. <laughs> I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness. So your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I, I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? He's talking about Monomi, you dip. You know, my mono beasts. One of them has just disappeared. Okay. Huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared. Hmm. hmm. Maybe I cut back on it the cost of the food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell but, you this. But that guy with the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Hmm? Though, though, this is merely pr the prelude. The climax will occur soon after. No! <laughs> Burn in the fires of pandemonium. Now then, let me hear you scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire existence! I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cat bot once said, Our eyes are in front, so you can keep moving forward. So we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Hmm, the only possibility I can think of is... Um, were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. Then leave. At least let me, at least ask me to leave kindly. Ah, uh, before you leave, I wanted to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Ta -da! Ah, yes, that's right. Ta -da! Ta -da! I'm what, the one who defeated that mono beast. You did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How did? How the hell did someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about. I'll talk about it in more detail in a different mode. Okay, that's what that mode is. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Um, that's totally right. Now that you all have more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Living together on this island was, is what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood-type action film. I want to live a life where I can be, be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right! All right, if you find anything that can s be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um, uh, it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from the one I plan- from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin. <laughs> then let's disperse. 
The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right, All right let's find a way off the, find a way to leave this island. It is impossible. Huh? Leaving this island is no longer possible. No longer possible. Hey, what is that? Ah! Hey, hey. Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Mo she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't go that close to her. Y you're right. It seems everyone's tension has shifted o toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape this situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Not everyone. Two people left. But first, I want to look at my pet. Clean the space. Present! Chocolate jerky. What do I have multiple of? Sunflower seeds. Hmm. Proof that you've cleared chapter one. A memento of te Teru Teru Hanamura. It's filled. Three star badge. Wooden stick. This unlocks Monomy mode, which is an even more fun than the actual game. What? Wooden stick Monomy found on the island. Okay. Whatever. Hi there. If anything is more important to me than a new island, they'll tease me for being stinky. New island, huh? I should go find some more. I should go find some clues too. Aww. Eh, you can't. You promised to tie my kimono sash. Hey. Th that was. We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but, but if I don't hurry to, and go take a bath, they'll <laughs> call me Sally again. They're <laughs> gonna bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then let's take a light shower first. Yay! We're gonna wash each other! Huh? Huh? Wash each other? Hey. Hold on! I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in, too. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But... Let's go! Come on, let's go! Hyoka pulled Mi Mahiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. It wash each other. I see. Watching each other, huh? Okay. Stairs. Look at the stairs. Let's go downstairs to the hotel lobby. No one here. Wait, reception desk. Oh, that's the reception desk. Okay. Exit here. Outside. After a little bit of walking around, I should um, be to level 17. Alright. Um, there we go, level up. Oops. Now I'm gonna check out my pet. Okay. Okay, um... Uh, anyone over here? No. Exit! First island. <clears throat> Alright. Bucket punch, mark it. Uh, do I need to go in there for any reason? I can make a detour anytime I want. I should hurry and investigate the new island. Really? I want to go and do the Monokuma vending machine! I think I went totally the wrong way, too. Here's the airport. Yeah, I totally went the wrong way. Oh well. The beach. 
And the bridge! Central Island. Bridge to the Central Island. First island, I think this way would be the second island. I think, at least. Or it could be Monokuma, Ma Monokuma Rock. This might be the second island. Nope. Bridge. Mono Beast. Fifth island. Okay. So I need to go backwards. Yay! I went the wrong way. Hooray! If only this could go a little bit faster when you're going in between the islands. First island... And the second island should be this one. Second island. She's right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. The lies beyond this bridge. Alright. I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, it's not the time for me to make carefree observations. Sorry about the cut there. My dogs started barking. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it.